I remember when I was a kid, there are these kind of abandoned buildings and you know, caves that I could find in the woods. And there was this kind of fascination with those mysterious places. It was because there's this innate thing, this innate curiosity, this innate urge to explore that just made me want to go further. So when most people think about ocean exploration, they think about the Discovery Channel or National Geographic, they think about James Cameron going to the bottom of the ocean, they don't think that it's something that they can do. They think it's just something that, you know, marine biologists do. My name is David Lang, and I'm one of the co-founders of OpenROV. OpenROV is an open source, low cost, underwater robot. It's about the size of a toaster oven. You drop it in the water, you can plug it into your computer, drive it around, and see what it sees. When we started this, we thought, what would make OpenROV a really cool tool? And the first thing we thought of is it has to be less than $1,000, so it's accessible and people can actually make this and get their hands on it. The second thing was we wanted this to be able to go at least to 100 meters. You know, that's most of the continental shelf. That's a lot of cool things to see. It's certainly designed so that you can build it in a garage without any fancy tools. You could do it um, on your kitchen counter if you wanted. It's uh, MacGyvenerian at its best. These are all off-the-shelf parts, kind of cleverly mispurposed to, uh, to do what we want. The main camera that we use to get the live video feed, that's sending 1080p video, and it's just a USB webcam that you can buy at any electronics store. The um, thrusters that we're using to move around are motors you normally find on a remote control airplane. That's kind of the way we've been able to achieve a really low-cost design. So call it a toy or call it a serious research tool. OpenROV is capable and it's fun to build. Our project is completely open source. I mean, so we publish all our designs online. We share exactly how we're doing it and what we're doing. We ask the internet for help. And what we found was this community of people who also wanted to see this exist in the world. You know, it's been amazing when um, I'm struggling with some sort of a technical problem. You know, on my smartphone as I'm drifting off to bed, I can type on the forums. You know, we just can't seem to figure out how to get this one part of the end cap to seal right. We don't know how to do it. In 24 hours, I can have a handful of very good solutions to a problem I've had. Right now, only a select handful of people are able to explore the ocean. What we want to do is give everyone that access and have everyone be able to share what they're finding. So creating kind of like a Wikipedia for ocean exploration. 